What's up, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the Tusk Brake Bleeder Vacuum Pump Kit, and I'm gonna show you how to use this as well. All right, so this tool is really gonna help you out anytime you need to change this brake fluid out. So anytime you have this system apart, obviously you're gonna to need to bleed it up, but you also have maintenance intervals on this brake fluid since it does get contaminated over time, the fluid gets darker. So that interval is either gonna be every one or two years, depending on your machine. So you wanna to refer to your model specific service manual to find that out. Now, it's a really simple procedure. This tool is gonna to work for ATVs, side-by-sides, snowmobiles, motorcycles, and even your car. So we'll go ahead, we'll jump into this, show you how to do it on a dirt bike since that's what we have in the shop today. And really, it's gonna be a similar procedure for any of those machines we mentioned. So let's go ahead and get started. The kit comes with a couple of different hoses, several different adapters, and a cup to catch all the fluid in. To set this up, we're gonna take one of the hoses We'll attach it to the pump and we have the cap for the cup and this side to pump. We'll hook that in. We'll attach the cup and this just rotates and locks in place. Then we'll take the second hose, we'll attach it to the other side of that cap and then depending what you're going to do is where you'll decide which adapter to use. So first thing we're gonna do is remove all of the old fluid from our master cylinder. So I'm just gonna use one of these nozzles and put it in the end. Now the reason we're removing all of this fluid from the master cylinder is because we're gonna flush all of the fluid out. We just wanna start with fresh fluid in the master cylinder. But if you just rebuilt part of the hydraulic system, the steps for flushing or bleeding will be the same. You just wanna make sure you have the reservoir topped off with fresh fluid at all times. So for us, we're gonna pump all this old stuff out. And sucking it out like that, it can help get some of the contaminants that are in the bottom of that master cylinder out. Now that we're topped off at the master cylinder, we'll go down to the bleeder nipple to the caliper that's furthest away from the master cylinder if it's a multi-caliper machine. But for this one, we only have one caliper, so we'll just go down there and start bleeding the fluid from that nipple. And it can be helpful to have someone help you pour fluid into this while you bleed it down there. The next thing we need to do is get the correct adapter for the size of nipple we're using. The kit comes with three different sizes, and then what we'll do is remove the nozzle put the correct adapter in place. And I do wanna point out when we were using the nozzle to suck all the old fluid out of the master cylinder, uh, you don't wanna pull the lever at any point or if it's a pedal, you don't wanna hit the pedal because that would suck some air into the system. So when you're flushing, just keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and hook this up to the bleeder nipple. Next, we'll apply some vacuum to the pump. And then we're gonna crack the bleeder nipple open. And you just wanna keep flushing or bleeding the system until you have all clean fluid coming through here and no air bubbles. Once you have everything all bled up, you can go ahead, tighten up the bleeder nipple, remove the tool, wipe off any excess brake fluid, and then we'll reinstall this cap. Now once you have the fluid topped off, you can reinstall the reservoir cap and that's really all there is to it. This tool makes the job quick and simple. It's available on our website along with all of the rebuild parts you would need for the hydraulic system. So be sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.